What's up you guys, it's Steve here and it's just been released and I got a copy of it and I'm gonna be sharing it with you in today's video. It is the official 10 page draft bill that's gonna be released by Miss AOC Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and it is the bill that's gonna be extending out federal unemployment benefits known as the Extend Unemployment Assistance Act of 2021 and this is your unemployment update and your federal unemployment extension update. Now, for those of you that follow me here on the channel, you already know that we had heard from AOC back before that when President Joe Biden said that he was just going to let unemployment benefits end, that it was time that she said that that was not okay, they were going to try to flip his stance, and that after they ended, there would be a new push to get unemployment extensions for PUA, PEUC, and that $300 per week boost. And you guys, she said it would come afterwards, and now she made good on her promise, and here it is. And you guys, this is just the draft. We're going to be getting an official bill here soon, but I wanted to make sure that you got the latest as this has come out, and I'm going to be going through this with you, this 10 pages, so that way we can see everything that is included. And yes, she does have this bill, and she wants to present it, and she's let us know, though, that she's not sure how much support she's going to be able to garnish, but still, she said she cannot go on without at least trying to help out the millions of people that have seen the end of their unemployment benefits. So you guys, we're going to dive right in, and as I mentioned, links to all of these in the description below, link to the bill, link to the website where I found the bill, and link to the news articles talking about the website, talking about the bill. I'm sharing with you everything. It's down in the description below, and let's walk through this so you can see the latest, because I know there's a lot of people that are very interested right now in the future future of federal unemployment benefits, you guys. So I'm going to dive right in, get you caught up on the latest as of today, September 16th, 2021. But before we do, if you appreciate these updates, letting you know everything that's going on right now with unemployment, don't forget, just take a quick second to smash that like button. I would appreciate it. Helps out the channel a ton. Just lets the YouTube algorithm know that you think I'm doing a good job. And in turn, they're going to go ahead and continue to promote my channel and my videos. Just takes a second. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Also, leave your comments down below. Share this out if you think it's going to help out other people. And if this is your first time here, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, come join the RAM fam, we like to call it, the viewing community. We want you to come join. I will keep you up to date on all this stuff. And if you got any specific questions for me, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. It's easy to get a hold of me. I'm very accessible. Just go through Instagram. And yes, I go through all those DMs myself and I will respond to your questions. Might take me a little while though. I, I get a lot of DMs, but I do go through all of them and I'll do my best to help you out with answers to your questions, you guys. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this bill. Let's go page by page, see what she's included. And we're going to get you caught up on the latest on unemployment as of today, September 16th, 2021. All right, so link in the description to this article that came out that gave me a link to the official bill. And it's from the Common Dreams website. You can see here they had a press release for AOC that says, Representative AOC to introduce a bill to extend pandemic unemployment insurance. And it says, Washington, this week, Representative AOC will introduce a bill to extend all all federal pandemic unemployment insurance through February 1st of 2022. So she wants to provide an additional five months of benefits from the time that they ended, you guys. I think it's a total of 21 weeks. Now, if passed, benefits would be retroactive from September 6th. So she's proposing no lapse from the time they ended all the way till February 1st. You should be covered with additional federal unemployment benefits. And the bill text is available right here. And when I click the link, it took me right to the official bill. And you can see discussion draft. This is going to be presented by Ms. Ocasio-Cortez. And it says that this is the bill known as the Extend Unemployment Assistance Act of 2021. And you can see line six, section two, extension of pandemic unemployment assistance, aka PUA. So right off the bat, those gig workers, independent contractors, those self-employed individuals that are not eligible typically for regular state unemployment insurance, you're going to get an extension of PUA to carry you through till February 1st. Now, page two, you can see line one right here. They're going to be striking out anywhere where it says September 6, 2021. That is the old extension deadline, and they want to replace it with February 1st, 2022. So essentially going throughout the American Rescue Plan and amending it, striking out all of those extensions and providing it even further an additional five months. And you can see jumping down to line nine, it says by striking out anywhere that it says 79 weeks for PUA, they're going to be inserting 100 weeks, giving an additional 21 weeks of PUA provisions. 
Now, if we go to page three, you can see jumping down to line six, section three, an extension of emergency unemployment relief for governmental entities and nonprofit organizations. So in other words, they're gonna be providing this to the states or local entities, whoever's gonna be distributing this out, they're gonna be getting it so that way they can send it to claimants that need these federal unemployment benefits. And you can see they're again, gonna be on line 15, striking out September 6th, and they're gonna be inserting February 1st, 2022 as the new deadline. Line 17, section four, an extension of federal pandemic unemployment compensation. So in other words, yes, you guys, if you were wondering about the boost, it's included in the bill, $300 per week is gonna be extended out in Miss AOC's proposed draft bill. And it says on line 20, that they're gonna be striking out September 6th and they're gonna be inserting February 1st, 2022. You can say the, see the same thing on line 24 as well. Now jump into page four, section five, line one. It says an extension of full federal funding of the first week of compensatable regular unemployment for states with no waiting weeks. So in other words, no lapse. They want this just to go from the last deadline to this new one. You can see line eight, section six, an extension of emergency state staffing flexibility. Line 13, section seven, an extension of pandemic emergency Emergency unemployment compensation. In other words, you guys, PEUC, which extends out how long you can collect on your claim, they're going to be providing that extension as well. So for those of you that were on UI and you went to PEUC because you exhausted your claim, they're going to be extending that out even further. And you can see striking out the same dates on line 16 of September 6, 2021 and inserting February 1st, 2022. And line 20, they provided 53 weeks of PEUC. Now they're going to be providing 74 weeks, you guys. So she's got all of the federal provisions covered, PUA, PEUC, and the $300 per week FPUC boost. So the first four pages covers the vast majority of what claimants are interested in. And then the remaining pages, if you want to go through it, you can go ahead and take a look for yourself. It just says temporary financing for short time compensation payments in states. Uh, they're going to be covering railroads. They're going to be covering additional enhanced benefits under the Railroad Unemployment Insurance Act and just the funding for this, making sure that states get covered. So she's got all the legislative text here, budgetary effects and effective dates, you guys. So all of it is included here. And as I mentioned, a link in the description below and you can see it for yourself. This is the draft bill. Now we've heard her say that she's not sure if she's going to be able to garnish support and she just wants to be clear and let everybody know that she doesn't know if they're going to be able to pass this through. And if they're going to do this, you guys, if this bill is actually going to take place and there's going to be an extension, it pretty much has to be included in the reconciliation package. That's probably going to be the only way because there is not going to be enough support in Congress to get it through the Senate by traditional means. It would have to go through the reconciliation bill. So in other words, if this is going to get support and this is going to come up, it has to happen right away, pretty much right now, you guys. So I'll be sure to keep you up to date. We're likely going to be hearing a lot more on this right away. So you guys, that is the official new draft that's going to be coming from AOC to extend out federal unemployment benefits of PUA, PEUC, and that $300 per week FPUC boost. And as I mentioned, there's likely going to be a lot more information coming out right away. I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. I know a lot of people are hoping that there's going to be an extension. And either way, I'll give you the latest and let you know what's happening, you guys. And as always, thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. If you made it this far and you haven't already and you appreciate these updates, don't forget, smash that like button. Just takes a second. Really helps on my channel a ton. Let's them know you think I'm doing a good job. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, this is your first time here. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Come join the viewing community. Come join the Ram fam. We want you here so we can keep you up to date on everything that's going on, you guys. And if you got any specific questions for me, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3, which is by far the best way to get a hold of me. But with that being said, you guys, hope this reaches you well. I'll catch you in the next video. Remember, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, regular uploads from me and also random uploads throughout the day and occasionally on weekends just as news breaks, you guys. I'll keep you up to date. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.